There she is, folks. There she is. Ready for some adventure? Yeah. But first, I'm tired. Work. <laughs> this is a two part video where we explore the islands of San Juan. In this video, we explore Port Townsend, feel like a kid again, riding a Washington State ferry, explore Snug Harbor Resort, and whale watching. But first, here's a little bit about us. We are Sean and Don. Like many of you, we have a crazy schedule. I work in healthcare IT. We own two small businesses, a gym and a cafe. In 2018, our landlord said they needed their building back that our gym had occupied for eight years. We decided to go all in on our business that same year. We bought a condemned building. In 2019, we renovated this building, adding a cafe to our operations. In 2020, and two times over our budget, we opened our cafe and moved our gym, only to be shut down the next day to flatten the curve. We all know how that went. After being told both of our businesses were non-essential, exhausted and emotionally tapped out, we realized we needed to find our balance finding our best life in the world's chaos. To support the lifestyle we wanted, we bought a van and renovated my truck. Follow us to see how we find our balance between work life while living our best life. Well, we made it to Port Townsend, ferry over to Woodby Island. Got ourselves a little sprinter over here. Not a rebel, but still a sprinter. Beautiful out. Let's take a look over here. So for those that don't know, this is a ferry to Woodby Island from Port Townsend. You can also get here to Woodby Island from Muckleteal Ferry. Really short trip. If you are taking the ferry in Port Townsend, downtown is just a quick walk away. It's easy to stroll the downtown to the far end, but if you do go to the far end, allow yourself about 15 minutes to get back to the ferry terminal. All right, Don's gonna be on the stop spot here. Don, what's your favorite thing about Port Townsend? Um, it's clean. There's no homeless campers everywhere. Uh, yeah, that is true. They do a good <laughs> job with that. What we are seeing here is Rat Island Rowing and Sculling Club at the far end of town. Traveling from Port Angeles to San Juan Island requires us to take two ferries. Um, it's a picturesque view that you just cannot get over the scenery. This first ferry we are on is to Port Townsend Ferry to Woodby Island. You'll see scenery of Port Townsend and then the distant scenery of Woodby Island. Following this, you'll see us loading on to the San Juan Ferry, and we'll pick up the conversation from there. As a local to Washington State, we travel on many ferries. We see tourists all the time out there taking photos and taking in all the scenery. Meanwhile, we are just sitting there on our phones and not looking up. Well, I felt like a big tourist going to the San Juan Islands. I could not get enough of the scenery. It was just stunning. You'll see several examples in the next few minutes.
Believe it or not, but there are 172 named islands and reefs in San Juan County. Three ferries served islands of San Juan Island, Orcas Island, and Lopez Island are the most popular and host a vast majority of lodging and dining options and tourist activities. Shaw Island is also accessible by ferry, but has limited camping and visitor amenities. With you, I love the way that you love me today. Let's run up through the fields to where the sun shines and heals. With you, I wanna stay with you. Did I mention as I'm getting older, I'm taking a big interest in photography, particularly nature photography. I'm not very good yet, but I'm practicing and eventually will be very proficient at it. What's fascinating to Don and I is how the local residents navigate these islands. San Juan Island County is full of multi-millionaire and billionaire homes. We know they get here by their Lear jets and helicopters, but to how does everyone else navigate the all these island chains. It's really fascinating to me that nomadic lifestyle and the bond they must have. Take my hand and fly up to the drops where the skies are so clear. With you, I want to stay with you. I want to stay with you. I want to stay Here we are looking across to the Olympic Mountains, my hometown of Port Angeles. Sure, it's cloudy, but imagine if this was clear. Wow, just stunning. Do you see that? That's a fuel truck being barged over. Once again, that nomadic lifestyle must be interesting. Here we are about to enter Friday Harbor. Friday Harbor is a crescent shaped harbor with an island in the center of it. You'll see both ends of the crescents on the next couple of videos. Off the ferry and on our way to Snug Harbor Resorts, located on San Juan Island's west side, on a peaceful Mitchell Bay, Snug Harbor Resort offers year-round waterfront accommodations. Here we are at Snug Harbor. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to me. All right, here comes Dawn coming into Snug Harbor for our room in the suite. Room three. 
First impressions. Oh, super cute. All right, it's so dark in here. bed. Look at that view guys. Amazing. Let's check out a little shower. Very nice shower. Keep that on. That's where they have the outside so you can just wash your hands, brush your teeth. Oh this is so so cute. out so a couple things that we learned at snug harbor first off all these games and stuff part of it firewood for all guests crab pots for guests paddle boards kayaks all for guests so it is a pretty complete resort you hear the eagle oh yeah this is amazing, guys. What time is it? Whale watching time. Here we are at Friday Harbor. Did you know you can rent little mopeds to actually go around the entire island? Very cool. With all the millionaires living here, I love the sign on this bookstore. And believe it or not, this is the grocery store. And this is the big one, one of two. For our whale watching trip, we chose Maya's Legacy Whale Watching. You won't be disappointed with them. Their boats are enclosed and you'll see from the video that some of the boats out there are open to the elements. We didn't get to see the big breaching whale, but we did see humpbacks and killer whales. Apparently these humpbacks are actually sleeping. One of the big highlights on this trip were seeing all the stellar seals. I hope you enjoyed episode one of our two part of the San Juan Islands. If you want to see episode two, like and subscribe. Next episode, we'll be talking about Roach Harbor, visiting two of the major camps here, American Camp and British Camp, and wrapping it up with our summary of the trip.